Actually, I'm a third generation miner on my father's side out of McDowell County. Probably a fifth generation from my mother's side from Mingo County. She okay. was from the Merrimack in between Maitland and Williamson. And her and dad had this uh, 90 mile separation while they was courting, which is very unusual back in the 19, early 1950s, you know. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. somehow or another, it love managed to find a way, and my brother and I came along. We lived in a coal camp up above the mines that I remember. My first experience was uh, uh, coming down the mountain, sitting up on my brother's back on sleigh riding in the winter. I had a cold air brushing my face, and I'm sitting up, and we're going around this curve, and my younger brother, about a year behind me, we're sitting up, my older brother's laying down, and there's about 10 sleds hooked together with the feet, all sleds from the company store coming down through the coal camp, through Suicide Curve, by the old, it was a two-room schoolhouse, they transferred, changed into a Baptist church, mm -hmm. is where I went, all dirt roads, and we'd come down there, I don't know, mm -hmm. three-quarter of a mile, and we would end up at the other end of the camp, Burke Collar Coal Camp, had a hundred families, and we'd get down there, and the fathers would have a good fire built for us in the metal barrels, the mothers would have snack cakes and hot chocolate and such. Just a wonderful time. Just a wonderful experience. Um, nobody ever locked doors. Mm -hmm. If you got in mischief on one end, time you got home, you know, yeah, that old belt hanging on, that mining belt hanging on a nail there. <laughs> I didn't get hardly any of that. Just a scare, mostly.